CD Watercraft is easy once you know where the controls and systems are located and how to properly utilize them. From a seated position on the watercraft, the first step should always be to connect the desk key lanyard to your PFD and to the engine cutoff switch. When the desk cap is disconnected, the engine will stop running. Please note that the yellow lanyard is the normal desk key and the green lanyard is the CD learning key that limits engine RPM to a predetermined level for beginners. The most prominent control feature of any CD watercraft is the handlebar. The handlebar controls the direction of the watercraft. During forward operation, turning the handlebar to the right, or starboard, steers the watercraft to the right. Turning the handlebar to the left, port, steers the watercraft to the left. Your day truly starts and stops with the engine start-stop button located on the left side of the handlebars and is pushed with the left thumb to both start the engine and turn it off. Remember, the desk key lanyard must be attached before the engine will start. The throttle lever is located on the right side of the handlebar, electronically controlling the engine speed. To increase or maintain watercraft speed, pull on the throttle lever with your index finger and release the lever to decrease your speed. Most CDU models are equipped with the Intelligent Brake and Reverse System, or IBR. The IBR system electronically controls the reverse bucket to enable neutral starting and reverse and forward functions as well as braking. The IBR lever is located on the left handlebar. When the IBR equipped Sea-Doo watercraft is started, it is automatically set in the neutral position and an N will appear on the center of the multifunction digital info center. To activate reverse, the lever is pulled in and held and R will appear on the info center gauge. When the IBR lever is released, it will return to the neutral position. To activate forward thrust, the operator simply pulls in the throttle lever. To activate the brake, the IBR lever is pulled. The braking input is relative to the amount the IBR lever is pulled, meaning the further the lever is pulled in, the greater the braking effect will occur. All CD watercraft are equipped with BRP's Intelligent Throttle Control System that allows various power delivery modes to be programmed. Touring mode is the default mode and provides a very smooth linear power delivery upon acceleration and is ideal when riding with passengers or while touring. The sport button is located on the left side of the handlebar. This button is used to activate or deactivate sport mode from touring mode. To activate sport mode, simply push the sport button once until a double beep is heard, then press a second time until a single beep is heard, and sport is indicated on the info center gauge face. Below the sport button is the eco button. Eco mode is designed to provide the greatest fuel economy while cruising by electronically setting the RPM level to provide the greatest engine efficiency. To activate Eco Mode, hold the Eco button down for 5 seconds until you hear a beep and the Eco icon light is visible on the Info Center gauge. Pull the throttle lever in completely and the ITC system will take the watercraft to the Eco Mode speed. To deactivate it, simply reverse the process. Some SeaDoo models are equipped with a High Performance Variable Trim System, or VTS, that adjusts the watercraft riding attitude when underway. The VTS angle can be adjusted by the VTS toggle switch located next to the sport and eco switch. Down will lower the bow and is useful while accelerating quicker, aids tracking when pulling skiers or handling when operating with multiple riders. Up will raise the bow and soften the handling slightly and can provide a drier ride. The mode and set toggle switch is located on the right handlebar. The up and down toggle switch is used to make a selection or change a setting through the info center. This includes, but is not limited to, adjusting VTS on models without a dedicated VTS toggle switch, adjusting speed with units equipped with cruise control or ski mode, softening or stiffening the suspension on the GTX Limited IS260, clock setting, lap timer, and display options. The Info Center display also provides system information and performance data. The level of detail is dependent on which CDU model you own. Basic information includes speedometer, tachometer, hour meter, fuel level display, GPS satellite sync. Knowing how to utilize the many technologies of your CDU watercraft will lead to more fun on the water. 
For more information on the controls and functions of your Sea-Doo watercraft, visit the owner section at sea-doo.com.